In this video, I wanted to talk about what it's like living in Atlanta. And to be completely honest, it probably will be a little biased and it's how I'm born and raised here. So it's kind of all I know, but stick around and we'll get right into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kennedy Hope local realtor here in the Atlanta, Georgia area. And if you have any questions about the buying or selling process, feel free to reach out anytime I'm available 24 seven and I would love to work with you. Number one, the cost of living. So being born and raised here is pretty much all I know. Uh, I know with inflation and everything, you can definitely feel the cost of living going up but it's all I know, so I kind of just roll with the punches. But I'll give you an average of what everything costs here, and you could be the determining factor to see where our cost of living ranks on your list. So number one, uh, the average cost of a home is about $350,000 right now, and that's for a four bed, three bath, or a three bed, two bath. Um, in a decent area, decent schools, the average cost of a one bed, one bath apartment is about 900 to 1200. Uh, the average apartment of two, two is about 13 to 2,500 average of gallon of gas is about $2 and 75 cent right now. And keep in mind, this is why our minimum wage is still $7 and 25 cent. So yeah keep that in mind also the average property tax is around 2500 to 3000 a year and that's on the previously three bed two bath or four bed three bath in the decent area uh don't quote me on that but we'll definitely you know look into the property taxes when the time comes number two our climate so we have four distinct seasons winter summer spring fall of course uh ours they're a little off though our winter is like late november to late february very cold very wet raining all the time we rarely get snow maybe once every 10 years so if you come into georgia looking for snow you might have to go to the mountains um spring that's early March to early May, chilly, 50 to 60 degrees, a lot of pollen. So you come outside and your car is just coated with pollen. I mean, just the thickest coat you've ever seen in your life. I'm born and raised here. I wasn't allergic to pollen. Now I am allergic to pollen. So if you have allergies or anything, you definitely want to just be prepared for that. And also we have bugs, uh, mosquitoes, bees, cockroaches, ants, you name it, we got it. Uh, so if you're not a bug person, just keep that in mind. Our summer, late May to late August, and it gets hot as hell. It is very humid here. So you definitely want to be inside during those months. We do have central AC. So you don't really have to worry about that. But if you want to be outside, just plan accordingly, you know, make sure you stay shaded cause it, yeah, it gets hot. Um, our fall, that's early September to late November. And that's the best time of the year. Fewer bugs, no pollen, a cool 70 to 78 all the time. Um, shorts, shirts, dresses all of those you know you'll be fine cool chilly nights you could be out at a restaurant a lot of outdoor eating is great so that's number two what our climate and weather is like three things to do so georgia atlanta more specifically you will have things to do a lot of our attractions are spread out so we have 
all of our sporting arenas are downtown and around the city. Uh, the Bray Stadium is in Cobb County. However, our Phillips Arena, Mercedes Benz, and our aquarium, all of those are downtown. We have a Six Flags, which is more west of the city. We have parks, bikes, trails. We have tons of festivals, um, so much stuff. But like, if you come to Georgia, you're definitely not going to be bored. Just, again, plan accordingly. If it's outside, you want to make sure it's more fall than summer. Um, and that is some of the things that there are to do here in Georgia. Number four our schools so we aren't really known as the best k through 12 per se but we do have blotches of decent schools uh you can definitely look up the county online and i'll put a link below to the county school system and you can see how they're ranked uh however i'll just let you know that going up north gwinnett county would probably be the better schools to the east decatur to the west is probably going to be, I would say Cobb, some of Douglasville, and to the south is going to be Noonan County or Fayette County Schools. Uh, however, we do have good colleges. So we have Georgia State, Georgia Tech, UGA, uh, SCAD, a lot of HBCUs as well. So our colleges are good. However, we just definitely have to put more emphasis on the K through 12. But we do have private and charter schools as well. So if you have a young one and education is big on you, just definitely look around and look at the link below and just see what school might fit best for you and your Number family. five, the traffic. So traffic is really bad here and it's progressively getting worse. Uh, we have a lot of people moving to Atlanta going through Atlanta. So it could get backed up in the blink of an eye. Um, also here, rain is the enemy if you're driving. Not for me per se, but a lot of people just get really crazy and just start driving really slow in the rain. We also have a lot of construction going on. Uh, if you ride through downtown, it's nothing but high rises going up. It's definitely starting to look like New York. Uh, so I guess our cost of living is kind of going up, um, but definitely plan accordingly if you have traffic. Um, definitely learn some back streets and you should be okay. I mean, it's not that big of a deal for me and I go through the city every day. Uh, yeah, just learn some back ways Number and six, you'll be fine. Our public transit. So our public transit is called MARTA the Metro Atlanta Rail Transit Authority, something like that. Uh, however, it's pr a pretty decent second to not having a car or if you couldn't Uber, it'll get you from point A to point B. You definitely just want to make sure you have a map. Um, it's all over the buses and the train. Just, you know, make sure you plan your route accordingly. And they also have an app, I think. So they'll let you know how to get from point A to point B. And they cover about maybe 75% of the city. So if you needed to get somewhere, you didn't have a car, Martyr would be a good bet. And you could Uber from the bus stop to wherever you needed to be. So that is what our public transit is like. Also the outer counties, Cobb, Gwinnett, they have their own transit system. Uh, so just look into it and just see what, uh, suits you best if it's public transit or Uber. Number seven, the different areas. So every major city has its problems. Um, typically here, it's more south and west that have bad spots of areas. Uh, the north, everything just seems to be a little better. The streets are nicer, hospitals are nicer, stores are nicer. Um, the east, that's the more gentrified area. And of course, this is right outside of the city east, like Decatur past that. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, the west to the city, um, again, right west inner city, probably not the best area, but 
after Six Flags in the Douglasville area, it gets better. Definitely a lot more rural. You get a lot more bang for your buck. And that's number seven, the different types of number areas. Eight, the job market. So I feel the job market here is very robust. A lot of Fortune 500 companies have their headquarters here. Uh, if you moved here, you could definitely find a job. Uh, after COVID, uh, I see nothing but now hiring signs everywhere I go. Uh, but keep in mind, the minimum wage is seven twenty five still. So keep that in mind. And that's number eight, the jobs. Number nine, what is the culture like? So it's the South. Uh, you, you hear good things and you hear bad things. Uh, it's definitely very diverse. Uh, you could come here and definitely find your area, find where you feel you belong. Um, we have a black mayor, but we have only had white governors. So it's a, it's a toss up. Uh, I personally haven't dealt with any racism that has scarred me or that I could even bring to mind. Um, but I'm definitely, a, in the inner city boy, I don't go to the more rural places in Georgia, so I can only imagine what goes on out there, but I just definitely stick to the city. Um, weed is not legal, not illegal. Uh, if you have it on you and you get pulled over, you will get a $75 ticket, but that's only in the city of Atlanta, so make sure you understand that. if you smoke um that's about it that's what the culture is like um it's definitely very fun very hip vibe everybody is always outside chilling number 10 the crime so honestly right now gun violence is really bad in the city uh we have a lot of youth being killed to gun violence our governor, uh, we have pretty much an open carry law. So if you just go buy a gun, you can have it on your person. So yeah, it's not really helping anyone at this point. Uh, we can't keep a police chief. Uh, it seems every time I turn on the news, we have a new police chief. The old one is retiring and uh, we probably just got to work better together as a community to get all this under control. And um, I would say Buckhead is definitely setting the trend off getting better. My office is there and I mean every time I go up there, there's literally a cop on every corner. So they're definitely fighting to do something about the issue. Um, it maybe just takes time. All right. So that was my take on what it's like living in Atlanta from a native born and raised here. What do you think? Are you from here? Did you move here recently? Or are you planning on moving here? Drop a comment and let me know. I love to chat with you. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will try to keep doing more videos like this and just keep bringing you in on the process. And yeah, don't forget to enjoy your day. Thanks.